hi cancer welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for cancer sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to flip and switch the roles i could be talking about someone else in your energy and also remember to just take what resonates and leave what does not fit okay so let's see cancer what are the messages spirit gods angels ancestors for cancer messages for cancer please and thank you okay that one came out so i'm going to take it all right, so bottom of the deck, we have divine counterpart. Okay, it says rare divine love has come into your sphere of influence. This is a high vibration of love and so familiar, it is recognized immediately. Trust, healthy balance, and deep intimacy are available in this beautiful union. You have reached a level in your relationship where both of you have come to each other whole and ready. Okay, beautiful. Then we have endings. The time has come to say goodbye. With every ending comes a new beginning. Let go. Trust that what happens is in divine order. Endings come in many forms. This could be the end of a job, career, relationship, cycle, or life. This signals an end to pain and suffering and an end to what no longer serves you. Okay, so for some of you, your divine counterpart is getting their shit together. Okay, for some of you, you could be meeting somebody new too. Divine counterpart doesn't have to mean twin, but sometimes it could mean that. We're going to see what the cards when it, um, when they come out. So let's see. Let's see, Cancer, what's going on. Some of you guys could just be ending a lot of karmic cycles. Now you're going to be meeting somebody that's on your wavelength, somebody that um, that's a part of your soul tribe. Somebody's going to love you and care for you and work with you here in equal partnership. So let's see. This is a divinely orchestrated relationship. So what, um, clarify the endings card and the divine counterpart card spirit for cancer, please. What is going on for cancer? Bottom of the deck, we have Ace of Cups. Yes, didn't I say new? <laughs> this could be a renewal, okay. This could be a renewal, yeah. Balance. So this is a temperance energy. Number 14, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or another Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But yeah, you guys could definitely be meeting somebody new, okay, after a time of pouring into yourself, working on um, maybe negative thought patterns when it comes down to love, relationships, showing love, receiving love type of thing. I feel like now is your time to um, embrace love and open your heart to new. So Ace of Cups, this is definitely a new beginning. Okay, maybe a new relationship here. Some of you guys are very intuitive right now or your intuition is really heightened what else for cancer okay so beautiful energy all right we have um renewal yeah i just said renewal so definitely somebody could be coming back from your past they want your forgiveness or this is a time for you to forgive your past person so you can move on and meet your counterpart somebody that's going to give to you equally and not have you stuck waiting or whatever the fuck okay yeah this is you going through an awakening this is um what's number 20 yeah that's the judgment you could be dealing with a Scorpio. So this is um, <clears throat> forgiving your past. Or this is somebody coming back for a second chance. For some of you, just flip it, switch it. Re you know, listen to your intuition. All right, use discernment when listening to Tarot. But yeah, I feel like there's a new relationship coming in. This is like, I feel like somebody has something to announce or say. All right, this is a decision that's been made here. Decisive decision. Okay, yeah, release. Yeah. That is on um, the death card. So something here definitely is, has ended. Okay, and somebody is going through a major cycle, a major transformation right now. Somebody here is doing the work here. They're ascending, whoever this is. It could be you, it could be them. The world, wow, look at these majors. Yeah, so a lot of majors. I mean, not a lot of majors, but three of the main majors, the judgment, the death, and the world. I feel like those are big, big major cards. <laughs> All of them are major, obviously, like, they 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 mean they all hold a different meaning but but anywho the world is um cycles closing i feel like you successfully completed a cycle here you've accomplished something something is definitely over yeah and so blessings are coming in you're going to be blessed with somebody that loves you and want to be with you what else for cancer or because you've really been pouring into yourself you have ten of wands ten of fire So yeah, I feel like you're putting an end to the burdens here. Whatever is burdening you or whatever is imbalanced in your life, I feel like you, you're putting an end to it. 
with the 10. That means something is definitely over. There's something that was weighing you down for a long time. Could be something. I feel like somebody is overwhelmed by how they feel about you. Or this is how it's going to be when you meet this new person. You're going to feel pretty overwhelmed because this relationship is going to be something beautiful. I feel like it's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Some of you guys can have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things going on in your life. And then boom, there, there's new love. Somebody's coming in. Yeah, to help you heal, to help you grow and vice versa with the star energy. This is something that you wish for, though. So what else for cancer? Yeah, page of wands. Yeah, there's a com there's communication coming in. Page of wands also talks about feeling enthusiastic to start new or to, to plan for new, feeling motivated, feeling like you're ready to put yourself out there after forgiving or leaving the past behind. Okay, this could be also communication from someone from your past. We're going to clarify and see what's what, but this is you feeling enthusiastic, feeling fired up. Some of you guys could be overworking. You need to get rest. Okay, maybe listen to your body first. Not maybe, but actually do it. <laughs> listen to your body first. Some of you, this is about you and a child here coming back together. Uh, you and your child, maybe you were at odds with your children or something like that. Or you were at odds with your child's mother or father is what I'm hearing too. But what else for cancer? All right, thank you, Spirit. So we have the five of wands. Yeah, there's fighting, there's competition. There's people that are trying to get your spot or take your spot or whatever this conflict is, rivalry. Yeah, I feel like because you successfully close out something, there's going to be people that don't really fuck with it. They don't want you to close the cycle or they don't want you to move on. Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody here is watching you. King of Cups. The Devil. The Four of Cups and that Queen of Cups. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody here, somebody's obsessively watching you here, your counterpart. King of Cups with the Queen of Cups is there at the bottom of the deck when I was flipping. So... Page of Swords is something that has been delayed. I feel like patience was needed for whatever this is. There's going to be some honesty and clarity coming towards you that's going to either help you release this person and get closure and go to a new person. Or this is going to help heal the connection between you and somebody y'all going to reconcile. So it could be either way. I feel like you're going to know when the time comes. But Page of Swords, this is somebody watching you here. Somebody here that you let go or release or put a stop to or into things with. I feel like they are watching you. Somebody wants to speak out. They want to speak clearly here. I feel like they're scared to say something to you. What's the Ace of Cups spirit for cancer? Yeah, Page of Swords again. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, you walked away from this person. Eight of Cups. You. This could be somebody that you have children with. Okay. You could have walked away from this person. Now you're going towards your happiness, your wish fulfillment, your abundance. Okay, but let's see. What is Ace of Cups? So we have the Seven of Wands and the King of Wands. Somebody, you could be blocking a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. <coughs> I, I was going to say, somebody could really be fighting for you. They're really trying to stand up for this relationship and fight for this love here that they have with you. I feel like somebody's exhausted. They're drained. Or oh, this is your ass. But let's see. Somebody here. This person is going to step up and assert themselves or say something here. I feel like you're blocking somebody from your past and you're going towards someone else possibly. What's the king of wands? <coughs> yeah, see? Ace of wands. This is new. Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups here already. <coughs> yeah. So this could be somebody new here. You could be meeting somebody new and you're blocking out something from the past. You could be feeling very guarded or very defensive because maybe this person looks really good. King of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Somebody is very sexually attractive. Somebody really, really looks good. And um, you could be kind of guarded or feeling very defensive when you meet this person or something like that. But for some of you, I feel like you're just blocking something out. Yeah, the star, the magician. For some of you guys, you're dealing with somebody that's foreign. They're a foreigner. Okay. Or you're going to be. This is going to be a lot of great sex, a lot of love making, a lot of, uh, a lot of passion here with this person. 
and they go after what they're passionate about too. They, they go after what they want. I feel like this person is a leader. They're a provider and protector is what I'm hearing. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Cancer. What's the seven of wands? <laughs> What's the seven of wands? Oh, yeah, you're blocking somebody's ass. Somebody here that's not taking action towards you, they miss an opportunity. Knight of Swords in reverse. You're blocking this person out because it's like they're not coming forward. They're not coming forward for one. This is missed opportunities. You could also be blocking someone out that's very like violent. They could be very violent, abusive possibly, or they're just a liar. Somebody here that just keeps lying. Yeah, you're tired of dealing with this little ass. I feel like somebody's a child. Yeah, five of swords. Somebody plays a lot of mind games, a lot of head games. They're very deceitful. They, I just feel like you're blocking them out and going towards new. So just period. Let me see. What's this Knight of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the moon. Somebody here. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Yeah, could be a Libra. Doesn't have to be, but somebody here is being left out in the cold. And there's been a breakup or something like that. I feel like somebody's mad that you're going towards new love or um, this person is going to be brokenhearted because you're going to be in a new relationship. Yeah, Two of Cups, the Wheel, the Three of Cups. And they ass is being left out in the cold because they didn't take action. Okay. What's this um judgment right here? The fool could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries and the five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. You're taking yourself out of the cold here. You're coming out of a time of feeling left out in the cold or feeling abandoned, neglected. Yeah, and you're gonna take this leap of faith and take a risk. And I feel like this is the right decision to make here. Some of you guys need to set firm and strong boundaries with somebody from your past, but this is definitely a new beginning. After a time of, of self-evaluation, um, healing the past, healing any wounds here that, that could possibly not be, you know, um, helping you move forward in life. Okay, anything holding you back? Yeah. <clears throat> the fool is you um, definitely healing your inner child too, doing something that's going to be very fun. Okay, it's very risky, but it's, it's going to be nice. I feel like this is going to be a breath of fresh air is what I'm feeling. This could be somebody here taking a risk towards you. Okay, they want to, um, yeah, new. Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. This person, there, there's new. I feel like you have options, Cancer. You have options coming towards you. One of these people are going to be your divine counterpart, though. I feel like you're going to be able to know it and feel it when it happens. You're not going to have a connection like you have with this person. Is going to feel very different, like very safe. And divine counterparts are not always twin flames either. So remember that. I don't want you guys to just strictly think that a divine counterpart is a twin flame. You get excited about your twin coming back and they still do the same fuck shit. <laughs> like, you know. But um, what's the, the death card right here? The release card? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Yeah, in reverse. Wow. Five of Wands. Yeah, so, so I feel like, you know, this is unrequited love here. So like I said, some of you guys are healing your heart chakra. Some of you guys are really opening up or you're needing to open up here. Because I feel like there's been a lot of sadness and disappointment. I feel like you're still in conflict with somebody or somebody's trying to be in conflict with you. There's been a breakup possibly and somebody's upset. They're mad. They're mad about this breakup. They don't want to break up. They don't. They, they just don't want to. Ace of Cups in reverse, but they, they give unrequited love. I feel like somebody's very promiscuous or they get around here. Somebody is very reckless with how they act and what they do there's a lot of broken promises somebody here could have called off a, a wedding and a whole engagement or a proposal or something like that but i feel like whoever this is yeah they're sad five of cups somebody's crying over spilled milk here they are because you're moving on you're releasing them and i feel like this person really really made you upset they hurt you a lot here they put you in competition with other people. So it's, I just feel like you're releasing them, just period. Now somebody's watching you. They want to tell you something or say something. It's like, I don't know why people wait until the last. I don't know why people just don't appreciate what they have when it comes down to this love shit when they have it. I just don't understand disloyalty. I don't get it. What's the world? What's the world? Yeah, the temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy in the nine of cups. The Empress, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, you could be dealing with the Sag. So the Temperance in Reverse talks about um, imbalance. Some of you guys could be having a hard time healing from something. Um, you could be walking away from somebody that, that drinks a lot. They overindulge in drinking, smoking, sex. Okay, whatever is pleasurable, pleasurable to them. 
they overdo it. Somebody here could be have addictions or issues or something like that. Make sure you're not rushing your process here. You could be a little hasty because maybe you feel wish fulfillment coming in or you're in the midst of it and you could be trying to rush it or because you're, you know, old wounds could be coming back up where you're scared or you're fearful or you're scared to be left out in the cold again. So make sure you're taking your time. But you could be leaving somebody behind. You close the cycle out with someone that was antagonistic. They were kind of like they kept picking on you or kept doing little stupid shit or... I don't know. Let's see. What's this temperance in reverse? Yeah. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody that's unreliable. They're unstable. Somebody here could definitely be um, a user. They're money hungry. You could be leaving multiple people behind that's like this. But this is somebody here that's not. They just, I don't know. Somebody here is lazy as fuck too. Knight of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that just breaks a lot of promises. They don't put the work in. Somebody just stopped putting the work in or they just stopped coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's because somebody here lacks imbalance. They don't have imbalance. They don't have balance in their life. They're not stable. They're not secure in their finances either. I feel like somebody's a workaholic. All somebody does is work, 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 possibly. And they overindulge in this here. Somebody's very superficial. They're obsessed with materialism. And I feel like you don't give a fuck about that. And I feel like they do. They care more about that than they care about your relationship. So you're ending it because it's like, well, damn. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this person has been very disloyal to you. And they lack goddamn common sense. What's this nine of cups? <laughs> now somebody is upset. Yeah, nine of wands in reverse. Somebody's very greedy. This person here, you can't compromise with this person. It's like no compromising with them. Nine of wands in reverse is, is um. also this is could be trouble heading your way. Somebody could be trying to come in and offer you something that's bullshit. It's going to be more broken promises, more disloyalty, more unreliability, you know. So be aware of this fight or whatever this is that's happening here. But nine of wands in reverse is definitely you giving up hope or you giving up on a situation or letting it go. And I feel like now somebody's upset or they're mad. So, okay. What's this ten of wands? Page of Wands coming out again. What's the Ten of Wands with the Page of Wands? Yeah, there's good news coming in. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, something is over. 10-10. So something is definitely over. You guys could be seeing those numbers. Page of Wands is you feeling ready to step out and do something new. You feeling very excited. This is excitement. I feel like there's going to be a lot of sexual energy coming towards you too. A lot of passion. A lot of good sex. A lot of having fun. Okay, just, you know, be careful. But live your life, honey. <laughs> do what you do. Okay, because I feel like, yeah, you're going to go into a commitment with the Hierophant energy. Yeah, karma. This is karma. This is what you're owed here. You're owed some goodness and some peace and some whatever else. You know what I'm saying? So, Ten of Swords, I feel like the worst of a situation is over. Can't nobody really fuck with you no more or get on your fucking nerves. Or they could get on your nerves, but I feel like you know how to handle it now because you've healed or you're healing and you're growing. And that's that. Like, you don't put up with drama, you know? Somebody here could be working really hard for a child. You could be stressed about your child here. Whatever this betrayal was, I feel like you had to drop someone and you had to take care of your child on your own. And so, you know, you're just doing what you have to do. You could be stressed or just like there's a lot of shit on your plate here. But I feel like there's some good news or communication coming in that's going to like make you feel different about everything going on. What's this page of wands in the main spread? The moon with the high priestess. Hmm. Cancer and Pisces energy here. So I feel like you've learned how to use discernment. There's something. There's something deceptive about this here. This communication that's coming in. You're going to have to really use your discernment. Use your intuition. Yeah, the judgment. Yeah, two of pentacles. You're gonna be yeah, you're gonna be trying to weigh your options or weigh something out because I feel like something is going to be off about this with the moon. This could be you, this could just be fears and anxieties here. For some of you, you're pregnant. Congratulations. Maybe you're you're hiding the pregnancy right now or you're not saying anything or something. But this could also be like you, you're really honing in on your intuition here. Your intuition is really heightened at this time. I think I said that in the beginning. What's the what's the moon right here? <laughs> Excuse me, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. 
What's this moon with this eight of pentacles? The hermit. Yeah, so I feel like some of you guys are working in silence here. You're doing introspection in silence. I feel like somebody's watching you in silence too. Because there's somebody from your past that wants your forgiveness. They want you back. And I feel like they're watching you while they work here or they do something. But I feel like this is you doing deep shadow work here. You're working on yourself. Page of, five, page of wands. So you can start something new and creative and go on a new adventure. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo on your chart. Some of you guys are just working on your finances. You're just moving in silence here. That could possibly be it. But I feel like you're doing shadow work here. So that way you can embrace this new beginning. Yeah, nine of swords, a star. Yeah, so you can move on. Oh, the hangman. Yeah, there's something that you need to release. Or you feel stuck here. What's the high priestess? Yeah, the queen of swords in reverse. Hmm. Make sure that you're not being too overly critical here. Is what I'm feeling called to say or too judgmental or whatever. Don't don't criticize yourself or doubt yourself. Don't speak down on yourself here. But I feel like this isn't true though. This is somebody else in your energy that's gossiping. This person could be watching you secretly. You know, I felt this person, they could be doing some type of spell work or something. I mean, the gossip could be spell work. Maybe they don't they don't be having to um mix things together or mix any potions. But this person, yeah, they could be watching you through tarot or something like that. I feel like this person is a liar. Whoever this person is with this page of wands, this communication is not looking. I don't know. This person is somebody that betrayed your trust here. And I feel like you've wisened up or you've matured. You're going to be able to see what this person is saying is not truthful. They could be coming towards you for sex. That's where I'm getting the sexual energy from. There's like a somebody here coming towards you with the page of wands twice. It's like somebody's very childish. They're immature. They don't, they haven't healed from something from their, their childhood or something like that. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse with the High Priestess? This. The Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, yeah, they're very possessive. Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. This person is very controlling, possessive. They're very rude. They're very harsh with their communication. They're a liar. They're a con. They, they're, they could be even verbally abusive. This person. They could be trying to get money out of you here. Or they're waiting for something from you. And I feel like it's not coming. And so now I feel like they're doing something to try to get you back or get your attention. What's this page of wands right here with the ten of wands? See, so yeah, well, the fortune popped way out. Yeah, whoever this is watching you is, is going through karma. Yeah, six of swords. So this page, whoever this is, bro, I'm glad I clarified it. I'm glad I did because this is some bullshit. Yeah, you're moving towards new. There's karma here. Somebody's getting bad karma for something, and you're moving forward with the Six of Swords. You're being guided to heal and move forward and do whatever you need to do because there's somebody here. I don't know if somebody put you in a third-party situation with another, like a karmic energy that is like very hateful. And so you're moving towards new love because your person can't get it together, or this is your actual person here that's being hateful. This is your, your ex or somebody, and you're going towards a counterpart. So flip it, switch it, but... I don't know. Something is messy. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is somebody, if something is not turning out in someone's favor. Maybe due to their addictions here. Somebody's let their addictions or whatever this is get in the way of a connection. So I feel like somebody's moving on. Someone's guided to move forward because I feel like spirit doesn't want you to get caught up in this person's karma because they're a bad person, whoever this is. This is somebody that's maliciously gossiping. They could be talking shit at your job or you could work with this person. They could be talking shit or... They could be going up to your job, like starting shit or something. We're dealing with the Sagittarius. What's the page of swords? Yeah, the trade in reverse. With the hyphen in reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, is could be a, another Cancer or a Taurus. Somebody is watching you. They, for some of you, the obstacle in your life right now is you going through a divorce. There's like, it's there, that's the obstacle. Somebody is like not moving forward. They're just watching you because they're going through a breakup with someone else. Or this is you going through a breakup. And that's what the obstacle is here. The chariot in reverse is literally a roadblock, an obstacle. And the hyphen in reverse is the ending of a long-term commitment. This could also talk about, yeah, there's like delayed documents or something coming in for that. And then I feel... Somebody was coerced into doing something that they really didn't want to do. The chariot in reverse is talking about um, lack of control of your life, um, coercion, coercion or whatever. I think it's coercion. Yeah, it's somebody was coerced into um, doing something that 
didn't seem right or feel right to them and they went with it anyway they didn't listen to their intuition now you're moving on the hierophant in reverse talks about as well like negative thought patterns negative beliefs old belief systems about um marriage and, and getting together and being together in a relationship somebody's belief system doesn't match yours possibly their values their morals somebody here doesn't have any values or morals and now they're just sitting back watching you yeah they're trying to manifest you here yeah for some of you with the emperor the magician the empress and the lovers yeah you're going to be in a, a counterpart connection with somebody that matches your energy okay if your twin doesn't match your energy then i ain't talking about them <laughs> you know what i'm saying divine counterparts can be somebody that spirit sends sends here for your soul purpose your growth that somebody that you can be with that's going to love you and protect you and and be everything that you need you know what i'm saying at this phase of your life so what's the hierophant in reverse there could definitely be something going on about a child in court, possibly. Somebody did something against spiritual law, too. Yeah, the judgment. Wow, coming out again. So, yeah, this is this is somebody here making a decision to break up with somebody or go through a divorce or finally um, listen to themselves, follow their own rules. Okay, the hyphen in reverse can mean that. Not being a conformist, doing what it is, breaking free from old belief systems and patterns. So, this could be... Um, Somebody seeking knowledge about themselves. Somebody seeking knowledge about what relationships are all about here. I just could see somebody looking up on Google how to be in a relationship or what a relationship consists of. Or they're looking up their, their emotions, their feelings. Somebody's trying to get in tune with themselves to make a final decision. Scorpio energy you could be dealing with. A Scorpio or you could have Scorpio in your chart. But this is um a karmic lesson for someone that's wrapping up or is, is still going on or something. Definitely somebody from your past. What's the chariot in reverse? Yeah, the five of cups. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like somebody lost you here. Somebody's in regret. Somebody's really in regret because they let somebody talk them out of something that they really wanted to do. They were very in and out. Yeah. And now you're going to be, yeah, you're going to be with an emperor. Because, yeah, bro. The Queen of Pentacles, the lovers, and the Knight of Wands. You're somebody that's stable, secure. You don't like this instable, like this instability. Somebody here is very in and out. And you had a strong connection with this person too. A strong connection with them. And they were very much so in and out. They were non-committal. And I feel like now with the Empress, the Magician, and the Emperor, and the Four of Wands, you've upgraded. You've upgraded. So... You're going towards new. For some of you, this is your twin coming in. This is your twin. They want to be in a relationship with you. They want to fix this here. For some of you, you could have been dealing with the false twin flame this whole time. <laughs> Maybe you thought this was your real twin. I don't want to confuse anybody, though. So look up what false twins are. Don't give me the lion, child. I don't know. But, okay. Um, let's see. I feel like somebody is blocked on going on this journey with you with the chariot in reverse, the hierophy. You broke up with them. Now they're watching you make a decision to move forward. They're sad. So what's this five of wands? Yeah, the queen of pentacles came out and the page of cups. Two of cups at the bottom of the deck, six of cups. Definitely somebody from your past is <laughs> coming back. For real. Some of you guys are really good mothers and fathers. You take care of yourself here. Somebody's in competition with you. They think that that you think that you're all that. And I feel like you are all that. And some of you guys are psychics. You do intuitive work here. There could be somebody that's watching you from afar. They admire you. This could be somebody coming in with an apology. Somebody knows that they have to fight off this competition because there's people around you that want you. And you possibly want their ass too. And somebody knows that. What's this? Um, This could be somebody's... Uh, like x that's coming back for an apology it's going to end up in a fight yeah you're going to end up walking away because you know this person could be using a child to communicate somebody could be communicating through their child so using a child as a pawn because you're not supposed to put children in adult business and i feel like somebody does that shit what's the what's the page of cups yeah the justice in reverse somebody's coming towards you so this page bro th this this page of cups page of wands person this person is so childish so just beware of this energy, right? There's somebody coming towards you or coming back that is, I don't know, what the fuck. They ass is immature. Justice in reverse. This is somebody that's not going to take accountability for their actions. Something's going to end up in an argument because they're not going to apologize. They're going to try to 
sweet talk you or be charming or maybe ease their way into apology but it's never going to be a full-blown truth or an apology you know like with the justice in reverse this is dishonesty this is lies this is bad karma too so as long as this person keeps doing this they're going to be burdened and weighed the fuck down just period what's the queen of pentacles yeah knight of cups what's the queen of pentacles with this knight of cups because this shit is a plot twist. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Some of you guys could be dating someone already. You could be already be involved with someone. Seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody's coming back to trap you here. Seven of cups in reverse alternatively when other cards are surrounding it that don't make no goddamn sense. This could be somebody that's coming back to trap you. They missed an opportunity with you in the past. They're coming back. And it's going to end up in a fight because I feel like you're not going to deal with this person's bullshit. Okay, some of you guys could be dating someone here. You are not confused. You see through the rose tinted glasses. Like, you're not confused. You're not lost. You're back down to reality. So, this person can't fool you here. And I feel like they're trying to come back to do this. So, child. This person. So, it's important for you to stay grounded. For some of you, it's your baby mother or baby daddy. That's trying to confuse you. What else for cancer? Bottom of the deck, we have sadness. Yeah. Disappointment, regret, depression, and unwelcome change. <laughs> karmic justice. Yeah. Isolation. Karmic cycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So somebody here, they ass is going to be sad and mad. Mm. <laughs> what else for cancer? And it's really not funny because people should, like... It needs to do better. We have online. It says being active on social media, strong social media presence, influencer emails, online dating, online business. So some of you guys definitely are being watched online. But it could be a, a crowd of people you could work online here. Somebody is watching you live your best life. Like that's just what it looks like. Somebody's very disappointed in how they acted or how they, you know, portray themselves. Yeah, it's like they, they fucked up. What's, um, not what's. <laughs> I'm used to saying what's this, what's that when I'm reading, but this is um, Crossroads. It says, faced with choices, mist of indecision, facing the possibilities in life, right of initiation. So you're going to have to make a decision about this person. I feel like it's going to be an easy one because they keep coming back the same way. And I feel like as they keep doing this, you're going to grow and mature. You're not going to keep dealing with the same shit. So you could have a decision to make, or this is this person. This is the reason why you're leaving them behind because it's like they're in a crossroads. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to make a decision. So it's like you're moving on. It's like, it's taking you too long to fucking make a decision. We have the unseen. It says, working behind the scenes, not seeing the full picture, the blessings you don't see, and magic happening behind the scenes. Yeah, so I feel like something is a plot to his cancer. I really do with this connection here that, that's showing. Yeah. It's like, do you want to keep repeating this cycle with this person? Or do you want to move on to new? real shit we have round and round not applying lessons learned unhealthy patterns and repeat unable to let go of the past repeating an old story see what i'm saying yeah then we have boundaries your boundaries are being tested not surrendering standing your ground staying true to yourself so for some of you this could be a person with this karmic energy this queen of swords in reverse this person is a loser this is the karmic that your person is getting rid of or for some of you you could be realizing that your person is stuck in a karmic cycle and they can't get rid of that person and you're moving forward so flip it switch it what else or they can't seem to make a decision yeah we have dating being open to love seeing somebody specific going on more dates feeling good and flirting yes yeah, some of you guys could be going on dates you're dealing with other people you're mingling you're ready for love it's coming ace of, ace of cups yeah, and then we have the devil. Addiction problems, access, obsession, dependency, materialism, bad financial habits, and shadow self. So this person here, this person is not committed. They date around. Whoever this is with dating and the devil, they just date just to have fun and, and, and do whatever the fuck. They have a sexual addiction or they like to fuck around with other people. And in relationships that they're in, they're not really committed. Somebody here doesn't like commitment. Or they do, but they don't want to do the work to be better. So they they rather stay doing this, whatever this is. 
Some of you guys could be dating the devil. <laughs> like you're dating the devil, him or herself. Okay. <clears throat> Somebody here is very codependent. So when they get in relationships, it's like this person has attachment issues. They, they're needy or they're clingy or obsessive or something. But I don't know, Cancer. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what's going on. Okay, like, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button when you turn the bell on so that way you guys won't miss any of my uploads. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.